Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Hey, welcome to another episode of JR and the Crew. That's right, guys. And yo, check this out, man. We got our boy E-Man in the house, what of up, course. What up, And then we got Jimmy G behind. And then he's, he's playing some new music right now. Oh, that, dude. That, it was tight right now, man. Yeah. Where is your stuff? Did he just make that up? Yeah, he just made it up right That's now. Hey, he just Hold created the Hold beat. on, Jimmy. Bring us back one time. Yeah, bring it back, bro. You just let, let, it, let it, like, ride a little <laughs> bit. That's doing what we do. Back for round two with Lorenzo and Fabian Alomar. Got a brand new car. Oh. This cut is a brand new star. And that's why we're going straight to the bar. <laughs> After this show, baby. Yeah. Hit them harder and harder. <laughs> that's right, guys. Hey, check this out. This could be a great, great show. We brought two of our favorite guests. Yes, our favorite yeah. guests, man. They had the highest numbers of our show, and right. uh, we enjoyed them. People enjoyed you guys as well. So we were like, dude, we've been actually trying to get you guys back for the longest freaking time, dude. Yeah. You're fucking famous, bro. Like, uh, right, right. <laughs> it, it was his fault. Yeah, what are you talking is. about, dog? He's no, guys hey, always I'm cutting proud. hair. I'm proud. Yeah. I'm me. I He's fucking busy. needed money. Boy. He's, he's, they, call him, <laughs> they call them the ghetto Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> He's like fucking always like, I'm bald. He wants to cut my hair. Fuck, I don't have no hair, dog. <laughs> he does shave, too. Oh, he does shave. <laughs> but no, check it out, man. We have, once again, we have our boys. We got Lorenzo, the barber, That's in right. the house. Oh, boy. And then, of course, we got none other than Fabian Alomar. I don't have a cool nickname. Like no, you don't. It's just Fabian. Yeah, this is Lorenzo. <laughs> hey, school days to call me Labian. Labian? That's, that's part of a, a vagina, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I'm not lying. Okay, I'm just saying. I don't that's know. I'm going to ask. No, no, no. Like, no. Let's, let's ask our producer. Yeah, the new producer, right there. Squishy. Squishy. Squishy, you know all about this. Is he lying? It's true. Huh? It's true? Hey, it's true. Huh? You oh, like that. You, shoot. You, uh, <laughs> man, it's true. So check it out. We got another addition to the crew, man. And she's going to come out once in a while as well. And she wants to help out in the back and do a lot of things. Uh, we got Squishy in the house. And Squish. stuff, so we'll put her face up right here so you guys can check her out. <laughs> Why do they call it Squishy? Because she'd be ringing shit out like that. Squish that motherfucking water. <laughs> <laughs> when she was locked up in prison, she was doing everybody's laundry like fucking squishy. In the laundry. <laughs> nah, I don't know why they call it squishy. I don't want to oh find my out. God, I don't want to find out. Uh, yeah, we don't want to find out. Yeah. But hey, guys, I want to talk about a couple of things because in our first segment, we always talk about what's happening in the world. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about because I really want you guys' input. And uh, I don't know if you guys seen it the other day, but LeBron James walked out on his team when there was five the Lakers of the Lakers, bro. There was still like six minutes to mm. play. They were losing, Bad. and LeBron James just walks off court and doesn't even come back. Well, what, what was the reason? Because he, he was they were losing bad. They were losing, they were losing they like, come back. Yeah. It was kind of it was over without being over. But yeah. he, well, what he was, was the reason? Walk he wanted out. to go ice, ice his knees. Yeah, that's what he's saying. But he literally walked out of his seat. So back. he was hurt though. He's been hurt. No, he's been hurt. He's been hurt. Yeah, him and AD. Right. He, they've, they've been, been hurt. So he, I, he felt that six minutes to jam sooner is going to help out his did, knees. Did they lose? Yes. He lost bad. He's bad. Just, but he, he couldn't have done nothing so, about he, that. What he's was a sore loser, bro. Yeah, no, Doesn't yeah. matter. Dude, hey, no, no, Kobe would have nev hey, hey. never left, bro. Kobe would have never left. Shaq would have never left. He would have sat, sat right there and, and iced his legs no, right Kobe there. Would, he Kobe would have yelled at everybody. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. He yeah he, he was, well, first of all, Kobe would have been playing to the end. Kobe like Kobe was that person that wanted to take charge of everything. Yeah. He was like, Phil Jackson would shut the fuck up after a while and just let him do the thing. But LeBron ain't like that. You, we, we can't compare him because they're not. They're nowhere. They're he's, not a, the same. he's a great basketball player. But he's just kind of like, this is over. I'm hurting. I'm going to ice my fucking knees. You know what I mean? But is that I'm a leader? Right? No, he's not a leader. He's That's not, not a leader. I right. just said that. Yeah, he's not. But I don't think it's right. But, you know, he wasn't hey, going to He had an episode. Sport. Yeah, he wasn't going to wow. He probably had. He probably, hey, he's, he's human, man. He, his fucking shoulders got too big for his head. <laughs> and, uh, you know? And, and he just got, he, he just like, fuck this. I'm done. I'm going to walk out. There's yeah. nothing we could do where we lost. <clears throat> and he just walked out. I know, uh, but that's like somebody like it's that's bad, like it's a bad example. Yeah, it's bad a example. bad example. Yeah, it's a especially bad example. if you're like yeah. the captain. The, everyone's depending on you. You want to be right there, win or lose. You're like right there with yeah. the team. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck See, yeah. I'm a, I'm a leader too, like captain of the saber holes. You know, <laughs> so like I'm I'm a leader too, but like I don't I don't ever walk out on them. <laughs> <laughs> I stay to the very end. <laughs> He's like, I'm right there with you. Something might happen that last minute. She might just change her mind. <laughs> you know? She might change her. You know what I'm saying? I wait, I wait to the very end, man. One more drink. Give her one more drink. One more drink, yeah. It's, it's, it's 1.44. You got one more minute to buy another drink. I'm waiting for you. I'm hoping. And if I, if I catch a 1.45er in the middle of that morning, <laughs> yeah, 
Like, then that's what I'm doing. I'm standing in the parking lot look, looking for a 145er. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Looking like a Michelin man. Yeah, it's all good. No, but it's true. I mean, I know a lot of us here are leaders in who we are and what we're doing because, you know, you own a business. You're doing, you're an entrepreneur, you know, uh, getting yourself into the industry. You know, he, we're doing our thing as well as here. So You're a leader too, JR no, and no, the crew. I, I, right, but yeah, we're doing our thing. If you were to walk out, yeah. I, I you want to walk out, homie? You huh? want, <laughs> that's all you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck him up. Jump him. Jump him. <laughs> you know, he has a long you know way to the door. Yeah. Before he gets there. He's gonna go. Oh, yeah. He's gonna get tackled through there. And then them them over there, they're yeah. gonna like oh, no, she's definitely busting, gonna yeah. jump up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She'll get me. But no, it's true because I know, would you guys follow somebody like that? I mean, or what would you do? Because I'm 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 interested right now in how the his uh, team is feeling. But they might not even voice it, they but you know they're feeling like I guarantee you some of them don't even give a fuck. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're just they're so much money. Whatever. They're getting yeah. paid. They, they wanted to walk out. They just mm. didn't have the nuts. You know I mean? <laughs> That's you know, true. Because, That's true. Because it's true. When when you see your team playing with their heads down and they're getting their asses, whipped, you're just like, oh my hey, look. god! Like, how'd you miss that? Why aren't you getting rebounds? What? Yeah. Why aren't you hustling? Why aren't you doing anything? Right. You know what I mean, it's and, a letdown. And, and, yeah. And you get disgusted. You know what I mean? No, I hear you, here's, man. Here's one thing. He likes things close to your mouth, homie. <laughs> look, so look. I, I know he's done that well, with me like, last week, homie. He just like he's like. <laughs> he wanted me to be like Elvis and just hold the mic and shit. <laughs> hey, look. Um, <laughs> fuck. So, God. <laughs> Luke, I am your father. <laughs> hey, look, hey, so, so well, you can't judge one thing or like a couple things from all the goodness that he's done. Yeah. He's done a lot right, of right. great things. And like oh, yeah. he's been a, a, one of the strongest players. So one thing like that. If you're looking at that, then you're becoming a nitpicker, homie. Yeah. And we can't mm. do that with people. I'm not. Because I'm not. everybody makes mistakes. And oh. everybody has their, we feel human. Well, I, I get into moods. Fucking, I, this morning, some dude fucking ran his car. I'm, I, get, I take my car to get washed this morning. Brand new car, by the way. Looks like a Batmobile. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> but look, anyway, fucking, and, and, and the guys that wa that's watching it is backing it up. And there's this lady coming out, and she happens to be from France. And she fucking, oh. she's, she's driving, and, and it's not a funny thing. She's really from France. Oh, and shoot. I, and, then, and, she, and she's backing up, and this dude's, and then it hit my car. Him driving, 80-year-old Paisa, got to give it to him. Like he's still working. Yeah. But right. should he be working in, a, in that environment? Mm. I don't know. Right. But what I'm saying is he, he, he drove my car. It has full limousine tent windows. Right. Because Damn. it's a fucking Batmobile. <laughs> and I don't want nobody watching me when I'm driving. Because I do a lot of things when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wait, he's looking good. at me funny. <laughs> he wants to cut my hair. <laughs> hey, hey, look. No, I don't have hair, fucker. <laughs> so, but anyway, he, he backs up and then he boom, it leaves a little scratch. I can show you the picture. It's a fucking scratch. But that's a scratch on my car that I didn't do. It's right. like 2021. Right. Yeah. No, exactly. I, I just got out six months ago. It's a fucking brand new yep. car for me. I love that. Yeah. I fucking kill for that car. Nobody I said for that nothing? Car. Huh? Nobody said nothing? Yeah, I did. That, but and the lady I, didn't I, say I fucking tripped. Either. I tripped. I went into full cholo mode, homie. <laughs> I went. I went. I went. I, 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 I went. I went no, not on the. I oh. told him in, in Spanish. I told him, "Why the fuck are you driving? Why are you even? You shouldn't even be driving, homie. You, yeah. Like, what are you doing?" And then I caught myself. All right, he's eighty years. Yeah, old. Yeah, he's eighty years old. You got. He's get. about as fucking tall as my niece. He's small, <laughs> and he's about as built as my niece. And I'm like, "Come on, dog. What am I doing?" Yeah. He made a mistake, and he was very humble about it. So I go to the manager, and then I look at the I look at the lady, and she and she was like, "He." Um, how does she talk? She talked like he was he's backed up into me. I did not know. I was, you know, oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was some friends. He's like, yeah. he's like, I was right here and she backed up into my car. Yeah. And then I was like, I, I tried to tell him to stop. He did not stop. Yeah. You know, I'm like, so they were really from France. Where the fuck are yeah, you yeah. from? Yeah. You're gonna get it just because, you know. But 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 anyway, the thing is, like, I had to cool down yeah. because it's a simple fucking mistake. And the scratch is like this big, and this. Like that. It's they real small. They, gonna, they it's say like they're going to buff it out? It's a fucking pinner joint in the county jail. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's yeah. smaller than that. Yeah. Yeah. A pinner joint that yeah. sells for like fucking $10. You know? Is that true, Lorenzo? That's a lot of canteen. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 <laughs> He's like, yeah, oh, that's He's like, yeah I bought paper. a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. Smoking paper. paper. Smoking paper. But okay, so I want to talk about something else, too. I mean, me and Jimmy were earlier. Wait, wait, wait. Was the, the girl from France hot? Yeah. Oh, That's oh, why I didn't trip on oh, her. Oh, so you didn't oh, trip. Yeah, he's oh, like, oh, wait. I got her number. <laughs> oh, yeah? No. Fucking, <laughs> okay, my, my name is Fabian. I go, hi, my name is Fabian. <laughs> you know, my, my it's a French name, fucker. My, my name is French. <laughs> my name is Fabian. <laughs> Come, hey, hey, oh, and yeah. and then, then I hit her with this, look. Oh, my God. Uh, Je m'appelle Fabian. Comment t'appelles-tu? And then she was like, and that, you guys don't know, no, but I that know. means my name's Fabian. What's your name? And yeah. she was like, 
Oh, so phone say phone guys, phone phone phone. And she start hitting. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm just fucking with you. I'm my name's Fabian. <laughs> and then I go like, I, my name's Fabian. It's a French name, but look, what what happened here? Like, I need your number. Oh, yeah. yeah I need your crazy. number. I need yeah. your address. I need everything about yeah. you. Right yeah, now, yeah, yeah. This shit might go down. Right. You know. Oh, well, that's cool, man. Hopefully yeah, man. tonight. Your new hopefully tonight. Hopefully tonight. tonight, 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 tonight. tonight. <laughs> I got the right material now. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, so I have another. I have another <laughs> scenario here. I want to know what's going to happen, guys, with this one because uh, we read earlier that um, there was a a bride and groom. Well, a bride dies. They're about to get married. The bride dies. Good for him. He and the skated. groom, the, but the groom ends up marrying her sister because he said it was what was this? It save money. Keep it in the family. They keep it in the family. Yeah. Oh, the old keeper in the family thing. No, that's yeah. Right. That's right. Year, that's what I would years do. Years later. I'm marrying her no. sister. They right then and there. Money. They put too much money down. They put too much hey. money down, so she stepped in for her sister. I'm and all for her. that. I'm all for that because I ain't gonna waste no fucking money. There was something going you know on saying? before that. Right. Bro. I that, thought. There was I thought going the same on. thing. What the. Keep that, it in the yeah, family, no. Papa. Because wouldn't the family step up and be like, wait a minute. Were they uh, Mexican? Were they Mexican, Jim? No, they're white. They're white. Oh, hillbilly. Uh, That's hillbilly, hillbilly rule. Okay, yeah. Uh, hillbilly rule. Hey, hey, Mexicans would be like, no, no, no. <laughs> hey. hey, what's up? How do you, how, and, and hillbilly world, how do you circumcise a hillbilly? What? You kick your sister in the jaw. <laughs> uh, you know, so that's, that's what happens in there. Oh, you know? my that's God. That's just what you do. Oh, my God. That's what you do. And it's, it's hillbilly rule. Cold, it's one on one. Hey, so I guess it is okay for uh, the, I, the sister did good. Then she stepped up for her, her sister who passed away. And is she that married. doing good, no. really? I, I guess it's, he's saying it's all good. So I, I guess hey. it's good. I mean, what? I mean, I'm going to take one for the team, for the family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you think it's okay, Lorenzo? Fuck no. <laughs> right? Imagine if, if your brother said, don't worry about it. If you die, I'm going to go ahead and. I'll, I'll yeah. pound your lady for the next. I've seen years. westerns. You know like what I mean, that. I've seen. I westerns. seen rest. That's, that, but those are movies, bro. Go, but yeah, but they made movies from the real, real shit, shit that happened. I don't know. Well. The commandments. The commandments. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, Lorenzo's like, oh, I can't tell. This guy's <laughs> oh shit. No, I but mean, I mean, fuck that. That's kind of fucking. That's just too weird for me, dude. Like, well, it is I weird, mean, bro. That, that there had to be something. He there has to be, be somewhere. The sister, so yeah, somewhere along the line. Like, yeah. At least he was looking at her from across the table, like, yeah. that. and she was looking back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? Because and you, was, you as a father, I mean, you as a family, you'd be like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? I mean, you were just my, with my my cousin, or you were just with my. But the family was okay with it. I guess. I mean, she got married. But you know what? There's a bunch of weird shit going on. Yeah, fuck yeah. We just talked about how you know our not too long ago we talked about you know how Rihanna or not Rihanna, Ti. Ti was putting, oh, that's putting, right, yeah. putting his toe in that chick's fucking. <laughs> and like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, great. You're gonna yeah, get this yeah. guy started. And then, and then she, you know, she he had, hooped him. She she was trying to hoop. He was trying to hoop. He's trying toe. to hoop, man. Trying to hoop the toe. So wow. there's just I'm weird, I'm there's like weird all shit. Kinds of shit going on right there's now. There's weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. There's weird stuff I'm going just, on. I don't man. think. Don't look know? at me, fucker. Yeah. What are you? He looks at me, homie. I don't do that shit no more, Papa. I'm a past life. We're not in prison, homie. <laughs> no, but the, the reason why we brought you guys on, though, but because I, I, I just your characters alone, man, are amazing, and and uh, your personalities, yeah. and and, uh, you. and your stories. That's the main thing. The stories. The people love your stories, man. Because yep. um, it's th- coming you guys coming on this time. It's not to really talk about your past. I grew up in Claremont. You grew up in Claremont. No, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it was P Town. Hey, the, the whole story that we had on them was so <laughs> fucking like, lie. What? Hey, <laughs> that's when you do that that that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. Wait a minute. That's <laughs> all good. We'll make the noises ourselves. <laughs> 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 No, no, but, but no, right, but yeah. we definitely wanted to talk. Oh, is that yeah. it, dude? Already? Yeah, yeah. But we're just wait. Hey, we're gonna bring them back right now. We're oh, gonna shoot, let them know what's man. going. Look at the clock. We're gonna oh. see where we're rolling, man. Oh, we gotta look at the clock. All right, then. Yeah. Well, we'll get to our next questions. We're gonna find out what they're doing now. now. It's now, man. Now with these guys. We'll be right back. Hi guys, Peter Rodriguez here over at Mortgage Masters. Hopefully you're having a great week because we've actually had a phenomenal week here at Mortgage Masters. The girls are in there processing funding, getting docs out, closing loans for us. I want to share you a little situation that I have right now on my desk. We actually just closed a loan for a dear friend of mine. He was very fortunate to retire at a young age but didn't have an actual income because he retired at such a young age. But with a loan known as asset dissipation, we we were able to go ahead and create an income for him, put him on a 15 year. Now he's happy, he's satisfied, and he's gonna be paying his loan off that much earlier. Call now. Okay, look, I know you're enjoying the show, but a real quick announcement. 
press that share button. That's right, press that share button. I know you've heard it so many times from us, and so many people are always asking us, how can we support you guys? How can we help you guys? But hey, you can do it by pressing the share button, all right? And also, don't forget, go to our YouTube, and if you are on our YouTube uh, channel, press the subscribe button, okay? I'll let you guys get back to the show. Guys, we are back. Once again, we're back and we got our special guest. We got Fabian Olimar right here. I don't know what the hell he's doing, but and we also got Lorenzo, <laughs> the barber in the house, man. Hey, I got to say something. What do you guys say? Since we took that break, I let Lorenzo cut my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and look what he did. He did a good job on my armpits. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Nah, but he cuts good hair. Huh? Yeah, he cuts good hair. Yeah. E uh, uh, Mac gets his hair cut from him too. That's right. Yeah, it's brocha. And then Lorenzo barely made it here because he was cutting people's hair That's before right. he even got yeah. here, man. So he was doing his thing, man. But like, like, I want to know now, Lorenzo, because. Um, you know, the last time we talked to you, man, you you know, you're doing your thing and uh, you you wanted to make an impact in other people's lives, which, dude, on your social media, when it comes to the uh, during like Thanksgiving and Christmas, you do, bro. You give out a lot of stuff to a lot of people. You help a lot of people. But but uh, I want to know, how is your business doing now? Because COVID is over. What, what how is your business? How did it survive? And, and what are you doing now? Yeah, um, it survived. It survived. Luckily, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't get no help from the government. The, not the state, nothing. It was just kind of like uh, customers just showing love, tipping big. I didn't raise nice. my price. A lot of people raise their prices. And I'm not going to lie. You know, I went through the back door. That's right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 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 Be careful what you say here around Fabian. Again, we are not in prison. Again, right? <laughs> I don't do that anymore, homie. <laughs> so, so I had customers coming in through the back end and basically keeping appointments and I had to do whatever I had to do to survive. Right, right. And then I was in that accident so I was out of cutting right. hair for like five months. That's and right. I had to come back when I when I actually went back to the shop to cut, I wasn't even like prepared. My my body hurt. You were, he, you he, were, I know, he was um he was right. actually on a little a scooter, a scooter for the leg. Yeah. That's right, right. So I remember seeing that. Yeah. But my back was, you know, my shot spine out. was fuck, killing fuck me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. E-Man yeah, right. e e saw it all yeah. the way through, and, and I, I had to do it. I had to do it to save my business. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, my GoFundMe for my accident, actually, a lot of it went to my business to catch up, to help. I had friends helping out. Um, I have a friend, Danny, from Ontario. He, he helped pay some rent, and, like, I, I just, you know, I was, I was lucky. I was lucky and, and very grateful for the people that helped out. No, that's awesome, yeah. man. But how does like somebody like because you guys both the reason why we we wanted you guys both on because yeah. you guys somewhat come from a similar background, you know, with the the, the gang the neighborhood, and then uh, now you're doing your thing to become successful, and uh, but you still you know at the same time um, uh, you don't forget your past. So how do you guys both like now? I mean, how do you guys even get along? Is it because of your guys' past that you guys really connect and stuff and be able to relate and know that you guys are moving forward? I, I, I could speak on that. from, And I think I speak for him, too. It's just that right now, you know, being, being where we have been and coming out of that, you see the bigger picture. Right. You don't see it like before. You know, like when I was younger, <laughs> everything was like... Um, I would nitpick on little things that like where where a person lived or where he was from or where they where they wh what they stood for and what they represented and like now being that you've done time and you come home right you you see things differently because the bigger and the greater cause of it is just like you know us just working together and being united and helping each other out no matter where you're from no matter what you represent no matter what you're doing but we have this one thing in common is that we all made mistakes. Mm -hmm. And we all paid a price. So now, for me, it's easy. I, I, I need to, I need to give back in order to feel good. And right. I, and I've made like small little um, goals that about where I need to come from because mm -hmm. of all the hurt that I've done just for my just to support my my addiction, which was just the the culture, the lifestyle, and then the drugs, and then what, what got me. The two carjackings and robberies and holding up stores mm -hmm. and people and, you know, like all that. Right. It's not mm -hmm. uh, something that I, I feel in my life that, that I could ever pay back. 
Mm -hmm. Even if I did community outreach and charity for the rest of my life every day, I could still not pay back what the hurt that I've caused other right, people right, because right. I've taken from them, you know, the things that I've done, I caused a lot of, I got away with more than what I got caught with because I deserve life in prison. Mm -hmm. right. But God didn't want that for me, right. you know? So therefore, I have to respect and pay it forward and do what I think and I feel that comes through my heart. Is that that's something like, for instance, like with the skating community, bro, that you've been doing, you've been doing a lot of good stuff for kids and shit like that. You know yeah. I mean? And I've seen that, you know, I've seen it on the show, right. social media. Um, same thing with you, you know, my bro. Um, I feel that you also, when we talked and we had him on the show, he was doing a lot of give backs and things like that. That's right. So we, Fabian, you're touching on right now. I mean, is that something that he could relate to? Honestly, like, I'm like, uh, he hit the man, I'm the like, head. touch, bro, because... When I think thoughts, I think, man, am I, am I the only one that feels this way? When I, and you know what, bro? I, I hurt. I hurt a lot for things I've done in the past. Yeah. I, uh, I feel guilty. I feel ugly. Yeah. And when I give back, it, it, I tell people I, I give back out of selfishness because I'm only doing it to make myself feel human again. Mm. You know, because I, I, mm. I, I felt ugly all the time. I felt guilt. I would, I would have nightmares. And and there's a lot of people out there that that like oh, fuck that and the, yeah then you haven't done it then you haven't been there because it's right. ugly it's an ugly place yeah. to fucking mm -hmm. be, and I've been where you're busted and you're just used to it. Yeah. I've been to where like you're doing things and it's just it, you're used to it, but once you get out of that and you look back, you, you're ashamed of it. You're not proud of it. It's right. ugly. It's an ugly world. Once you look at your kids and your nieces and nephews and and other people's kids and, and you realize like. Fuck, you don't want them to be a part of that. Yeah, yeah, right. You start realizing stuff. You start wanting to make things better. I actually went back to... When I was in school, I made a teacher cry. She uh, she kicked me out of the class. And a uh, quick story is, is I wouldn't get out. And when she went to use a phone, back then they had the little phone that... They didn't have cell phones. They had a little phone on the wall. That, right, right, yeah. And I fucking held it. And I had like got in her face and I had her in a corner and mm -hmm. she was so terrified. She just cried and cried. And, and after that, I never went, really went back to school. Well, wow. years later, my kids went to that school and I seen that teacher and I, I went and I apologized. Wow. And when she looked at me, she, wow. she was still scared and she, she swore up and down. Yeah. She didn't remember, but I told her with all my heart, I apologized. Like that, wow. that was a different time and a different me. And, mm -hmm. and I regret that. And, you know, I there's things in my life that I'm not proud of that that hurt me, and that's one of them. And I told her like, you never left my mind. I felt bad for years, wow, yeah. and I still feel bad to this day. Well, it is touching me because yeah. it looks like as though that you guys are both on your road to redemption, right? You know what I mean? Because you're doing things now to say, hey, I need to make up for what we did in the past, you know. And and that's why I, I believe a lot of people love their you guys' stories because you guys are real, and now you're doing something to make an impact. Yeah. I mean, because he just got out of jail. You know, not too long ago, and, and 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 a lot of things are opening up for him because he's. I mean, you made a commitment, bro. You said, you know, I'm I'm sober free. That's it. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be sober free. I wanna be focused. But dude, I mean, there is times where I, I know because we're we're human. You probably go through it where you're like, you know, screw my life. Every day. I want to go back. Yeah. You know, because it's easier to go back yeah, it than is. it is to go forward. Right. Every you know day. What I, mean? I I've um, I've shared this with a few people and and um, it's funny how all. All the people that, everyone like us, we all end up coming together, and it's not even something that you plan. It's just something that happens that the universe, it gets put you in the same room mm -hmm. together because that's how I met Danny Trejo. That's right. how I met you. And, and a lot of people that, have, that are around me that have gone through the same thing, like Mario, you know, Danny's assistant. Mm -hmm. And everyone has done time, but they have this remorse, and they have mm -hmm. this in their heart. That they just feel like, you know, it's not like you're trying to become like, oh, student of the year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, right, I can never, right, right. you know, right, I'm not trying to be like, uh, 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 I can't, there's no way I can make up for everything that I've done. But it's the little things that just make me personally feel good. And I, I, I pray in the, at night, I pray in the morning and I read the just for today. Mm -hmm. Because I can't do the sobriety without God in my life. Right, right. And I can't do God without sobriety. So one of those, without one, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm back on the street. 
And I'm not perfect by far, but I just do little things because I still have that animal in me. Yeah, right, right, right. And yeah. an animal almost yeah. came out the other night. Yeah. And like somebody yeah. was, you know, poking at me, literally right, just right. doing this to me. Right. Wow. And um, cool. And he was like drunk. And I'm at a Nike SB uh, video release for skateboarding. My friend took me. I was there with all these big skateboarders, big, huge skaters, right? The best ones right now that are out there. And he's like, Fabian. You're the inspiration. And he had like this wild hair and he's poking at my chest. <laughs> and I'm looking around and I, I like, I'm like, I'm, I, I look around and I'm just like, yeah, oh, oh. I see a bottle right here. He's poking me he's like, you know, he's younger than me, a little bit bigger than me. And I see a bottle. My first instinct, grab the bottle, bam, and then just fucking keep going. But yeah. do I do that? No. But that's, that's where my mind goes. Yeah. Right. Because I want to get and, or get his hand yeah. and just fucking bend it and just do something yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. But I don't want to do that because... He gets a slap in the hand. He might go to the hospital for a couple right. days. <laughs> right, right. He may get, he may get yeah. some stitches. But yeah. I'm going to go back to prison for yeah. at least 15 years. Yeah. 20 mm -hmm. years, if not. And that's, that's crazy, yeah. man. Yeah, but, but e even if you didn't go back, it, it's a mental setback no. for yourself. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's a setback yeah. mentally. Right. But, but yeah. think yeah. about all the things that, and the people I hurt. I hurt my mother. My, my brother just got arrested again. He went to court. He did 21 years. My brother just got out doing 21 years. And now he's back in prison wow. for... Simply making bad decisions. Wow, yeah. Because of his demons. Right, right, right. right. And it's like, I can't afford to do that to, not just to my, I'm not, I can't, I'm being selfish now. I got, I got to think of my mother. Right. I got to think of my father and, my, right. and, and everyone in my family and just in general, I don't want to go back no more. And so. all the good things that are coming right. up for you, man. Fuck all the, okay, yeah. screw all the good things come, coming my way. That's, that's a, that's a, that's a, a, a that's the, the last thing on my mind because I'm, I'm talking about my mom. No, no, for sure. You know, mm -hmm. and like she's she's not getting any younger, right? And not getting any any healthier, right? It's just you know they get older, you get more weak, and and no, it, no, and for sure. So me personally, I, I would trade everything to have my mom's health. No, no, that's, no. that's awesome. Know? But but at the end of the day, I mean, I mean it more in a f sense of the good things that you you have coming your way, man, and the way you'll be able to take care of your mom and actually show her the it's last by being couple successful. years. The last couple of years, help some, something good. Yeah, yeah. you know what right, I'm saying? Right. To help her, whether it is with her health or whatever it might be, mama, I got it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. where, that's no, where you that's know. True. That's what I'm talking about. That's true. Know? It's all about family and yeah. stuff. At the end of the I day, mean, yeah. yeah. Taking care of them. Take, Take care, care of your family. family. You know, that's 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 when, I, when I was younger, I, my mom used to always, you know, I'd be in prison. She'd take care of me. Or, you know, when I was out, she'd shoot me money here and there. It, it felt nice. It felt nice when, when I got my shop. and I, I, You know, everything's going real good. And, and you give your mom money. Or she... My mom had to go spend money at the dentist, and she wasn't going to do the dental work because it was like $7,000, mm -hmm. and I paid for it. And, and that feels good. It feels good to give back and show, you know, your, your parents that, like, oh, like he's doing good now. Because yeah. I, no, I, I was always yeah. busted, and my dad and my mom, they got used to it. And before my dad passed away, he saw me open a business. He saw me doing good. That's good. And that, that felt good. The, right, the other right. night, I seen Fabian and... Uh, and my heart just went out to I was like, bro, like, bro, I'm so proud of you. Like, you know, I'm, I'm nobody in this world, but I'm proud of you. And I want you to know that, that, that's right. That I love when I see people just excel on whatever they're doing and do better. And anybody that's not proud is just a fucking hater. You yeah, know I mean? straight not, up. They're hating on you guys, yeah. man. Yeah, but I had this scenario. Yourself. I really have this scenario that I heard the other day. And, <laughs> and, it's, and it, it, it's true in my family is because my grandma did it. But uh, it was always they, they said that. You could be doing great, and it doesn't matter, but then your cousin or your brother or your uncle could be in and out of jail, and they're more happy for him if he even gets a job, and you'll be like, hey, look at <laughs> I got I got a good job. And they're like, so? So-and-so, he, he works at McDonald's, and he's doing great. Yeah. Like, but I'm doing better. It doesn't matter. Even though he's in and out of jail, they still treat that person. You want to know why? You don't want to know where that comes from? Where does it come from? Because in the Bible, it says that the rich are going to be last and the poor are first mm -hmm. so 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 god's happy when he sees the person that you least expect doing good rather than the person that's always doing good he already knows he's doing good right. yeah. there's no need to like boost him up but when that person gets off his ass and stops mm, and like comes that. out of homelessness yeah. Yeah. and comes out of addiction and comes out of incarceration or comes out of his mental like whatever funk he's in mm -hmm. then they start getting back on that groove then you're happy for that person. Everyone comes together for that person because there's no need because they know you're already successful and right, they know right. you're already good and you're, you're already straight. Yeah. 
So when that person gets off his ass and finally starts realizing they what life is, they, everybody comes for that mm. person to support. You want to want to see everybody doing good. Yeah. Hey, but, but real quick, man, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to jump back right in with these two fellas, man. Good knowledge, good conversation yeah. coming your way. What up, what up? Make sure you guys check us out on IG, on YouTube, and Facebook. And don't forget about TikTok. Oh, and TikTok too, man. Don't forget about that. What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy E-Man from JR and the crew. And I'm here with the double trouble, man. My boy Lorenzo the Barber and Fabian Alomar. And this is what grinds my gears. I want to know what grinds these fellas' gears, man. I'll tell you what grinds my gears, Holmes. When I look out my kitchen window and I see this big guy, about 6'4", about 300 pounds, walking a small little dog, and my bike is parked outside in the sidewalk, and he allows his dog to use my bike like a tree, and that dog lifts up his leg and pees on my back fucking tire. <laughs> and I just got this bike. It's my first bike. Treat it like a uh, baby. What about you, bro? Oh, man. What grinds my gears is when... Fat people use carts at the grocery store because they're fat <laughs> instead of getting some fucking exercise and walking the aisles. <laughs> hey, man. That's right. That's what grabs my gears with my boys right here, man. What up? What up? We're coming back right here live with Jay and the crew, man. Check it out. We got my boy Fabian in the house. We got my boy Lorenzo the Barber. And special guest Momo was in the house. Yeah, she decided yeah. to show up. It was traffic. I couldn't have. Yeah, it. she uh, de yeah. decided. <laughs> <laughs> but man, we were just chopping it up on some real shit, man. With my boys right here, um, you know, pretty much talking about life, man, and uh, trying to, you know, let these people know that it doesn't matter what you've been through, man. That you can, you can make it out of it, That's and right. definitely right. better yourself. You know what I'm saying? And these two guys are a perfect example of that. Um, you know, Lorenzo, I know that you've been, you know. Through ups and downs, you're coming back from the motorcycle accident, man. Um, you're bouncing back very well. You know what I mean? I see you're standing on your own <laughs> too now. No more, no more little scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Scooter's the gone, man. Yeah, the T-bars, the T-bars, man. He has a little slide. But you know, he wants. Even, even <laughs> that needs suited to, you though. You know, oh my god. <laughs> you would have been know, pissing no, with your cane. I was I, like, I would be in my truck and I'd be on Instagram Live, <laughs> and in the back, E Man spotted it. Because I used to throw my scooter in the back. You yeah. see my little T-bars in the back. And he'd be like, <laughs> all the time talking shit. And I'd be like, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I had back surgery one time. And I was in a walker for a long time, like six months. And I got so fucked up one time that I walked in with the walker. And I don't know. what I came home without it. Oh. I don't know what happened. Because I go to the store and get like those electric ones. Yeah. <laughs> and so I came <laughs> home. And I noticed like two days later, I didn't have my walker. But, you know, oh, man. You know, they give you so much medication. And yeah. so I really, oh, I was... Oh, no. I was out of my uh -huh. mind. Mm -hmm. that was a bad, hey, I was in a bad spot. Hey, that, hey, I, that, that I year. just argued the other night with some lady in one of those little carts. Did she, did she run you over? No. <laughs> I, I was parking in the handicap, and all the handicaps were taken. I took the last one, and then she comes around. She circled twice, and I was doing something in my truck, and then I get off, and I start walking. And because, like, I'm walking better yeah. now, yeah. she pulls up, and she tells me it's a shame when people that – Use handicaps that don't really need them when people like me really need them. Yep. And then she takes off, and I'm like, wow, all right. So I go <laughs> yeah, in. Wow, right. <laughs> I go in, and, so, and it happens. The, the guy goes, that, what are you talking about, bitch? <laughs> 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 Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. I'm a real one, bitch. <laughs> and then he starts dragging his leg. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not funny. When I'm inside, that's not the, funny. The produce oh, yeah. guy, he he sees me at that same market all the time. He's like, he, he call, he's like, hey man, you look good. You're 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 not using the wood. I seen you in the wheelchair, the scooter, the cane. Now you you're, the whole you're, process. You're to, yeah, 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 now right. you're starting to walk on your own. Evolution, I go, man, I appreciate that. <laughs> and here comes this fucking broad, and she's in the scooter. She's just really fucking fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why Her she's knees using. Can't bear the yeah, weight. hey. And she no comes, and I step in the way of the scooter, and she stops. And I go, it's a fucking shame that people need these scooters, and people have to use them because they're fat, not handicapped. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, she looks at me, and I, I start to walk away, and I'm not walking fast enough, I guess. So she backs up, and is like, boop. 
<laughs> Bitch, that, that fucking noise like suits you, right? <laughs> that noise suits you. Oh, hey. shit. And that was the noise her nalgas made, not the car, huh? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, but, but real quick, bro. Like, So what's up, man? Since you came back, you're bouncing back from your accident. COVID's over, man. <laughs> right. What are some things you got going on? I mean, what are, what are some things we can expect from the shop? Um, or do we have another shop opening up? Who knows? What's going down? Uh, well, you know what? I, I, I gave a lot. And and honestly, right now I, I got to give to myself. I, I'm, my bike's almost done. I put a lot into that. I want to ride again. Um, my shop. I'm gonna redo my shop. The flooring, paint, knock down a wall. Okay. And 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 then I want to throw a, a just a basically a welcome back party. A welcome back after hey, COVID party. Yeah. That's right. A there. grand reopening yeah. to be more specific. Yeah. <laughs> welcome basically, back, Carter. I'm almost good COVID. at that grand reopening. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that was like. Super serious. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, not like reading between the lines. Like, <laughs> it was like, serious. Look at, he looks, look, at, look at the way he looks at you. Look at this guy. <laughs> you better be careful because I'm going to do that back and you might not like it. Oh. <laughs> do it like this. You might think hey, you're behind do it like locked this. doors again. <laughs> you get the cold shoulder, eh? <laughs> So, yeah. No, I, I'm just trying to get my, my, shop, my shop back on track. Because it, it's still slow. It's still... Right, right. And then physically, I can only stand three days a week working. I can't do a full five no more. And I'm hopefully, like, gradually I'll bounce back into it. But I got, like, physical therapy on other days and, and stuff I have to do. So that's what's up. once that's done, I'm going to try to go back, like, four days, five days. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. But until then, I, I just... just Trying to get it as much in as possible at the no, shop. For sure, man. You know I mean? So, are you trying to? I'm not trying, but are you still going to be doing your your giveaways and stuff? Because I haven't seen it in a while. Because I know you said like right now you're focusing on yourself, but uh, I, I think a lot of your success is because you did give a lot to a lot of people. You know what I mean? Yeah, and and not to sound shitty, but I started like doing more on Instagram than I was actually in life. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I shut down all my Instagram. I shut down everything and just wanted to focus on my shop. Um, I, my, just, I just my messaged house, them the other day. I don't know. Mm -hmm. he, I messaged him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, hey, bro. <laughs> no, 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 bro, you coming to the studio, right? He like, DM'd you? Yeah. I was like, what's up? And he was just like, yeah, I'll be there. I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> He had, a, uh, he had he you might, on his speed DM dial. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he might not nah, no. fuck with you, but that's I, good, though. That's, yeah, you got I, like a cleanse and shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, uh, I IG like cleanse. cleanse. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. needs to, it, all social media, just cut it I for a little bit. social media. Clean up. And, you know, I honestly thought, like, I would miss it. And yeah. I don't even think about it. I really don't. Like, the first two days, I would, I would grab my phone to, like, uh, hit, hit I the Instagram, and yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I don't have it. And but now I'm just like whatever. Isn't it a trip? How you have more time on your hands when you don't have that shit? <coughs> it's true. Yeah, and, yeah. It's, and it's really way true. more fucking time. Like you get stuck in that bitch. Yeah, yeah. looking yeah. at fucking That's girls with boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That get more followers that takes than up me. A lot of my time too. <laughs> they, hey, all they all they all they do is just fucking dun, 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 and then with a stupid thing like that, and then fucking get like a million followers. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even do nothing, eh? Don't even do nothing, fool, but I like it. <laughs> and I fucking follow. <laughs> and I like it again, and I fucking comment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm telling them, where's work? Give oh, me more. Yeah, yeah. But I hate it at the same time. Because <laughs> I'm fucking doing things, and I don't get that many followers. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. <laughs> but hey, that's that. But the, what you were doing is exactly what, I mean, because now Fabian, he, what he's doing, and I, I've seen a lot in your post, bro, you're actually going into some facility and speaking to, to youth, right? Yes. How's that? We're gonna. I'm doing. I'm gonna do that more. I'm gonna do that more. We're gonna. We're gonna start implementing that more once it opens up. But I already did that, right? We did. We went to the, the in Pomona, the Pomona Fairplex, yeah. where yeah. the kids in the cage, and oh, then we, went we did. There? Yeah, we went to. Oh, we shoot. went there and um. Told you last week, no? No. Did I mention that? No, I just seen a picture. Okay, so we went to the, we went to the kids with the cage with Danny Trail. We took all, all kinds of wow. artists there, and um. And then uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to go into the facilities like juvenile halls and camps okay. with the ARC and um, with Scott Budnick. And that's what I want to do. I want to go into the facilities and talk to the inmates and talk to the kids. And, and like, they even want me to go in and skate, but damn, I need a new knee. Anybody <laughs> got a new knee out there? Yeah. I wanted, I've always wanted to do that. I went to talk to kids at, uh, there's a place right here in Covina, up, up the street right here. And what are you I'm talking about? This is Barely Hills. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. It's a juvenile no, camp. No, she there. was there, Holmes. Up the street from my shopping covina. Oh. oh she but paroled from there. It, it's, like a, it's like an undisclosed location, I guess. Yeah. So, I don't know. We could pick kids that got taken away because they got in trouble or whatever. Okay. But I went and spoke to them before, and I liked doing How was it. that, though, bro? How was it was that? cool. Out of, like, 20 kids, there was one that was being, like... A fucking dick. Yeah, he was just constantly <laughs> making remarks and constantly... Mm. Mm. And then uh, when that it was, was all me. over with, when it was all over with, I was like, you know, they all came up. And uh, he was, uh, like, one of the last ones. And I go, hey, like, let me talk to you last. And then... Uh, and, I'm, and I and then I was like, let me get at you over yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to yeah. give you a haircut, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of felt like I, I felt like he was acting out like he wanted attention, yeah. like yeah, know you know. That's right. That's right. That's and and so like when all the kids were going, he was like, yeah, what's up? And I was like, you you got my attention now. Like what's up? Like you wow. you you're making wow. all these remarks, and he was like. Well, I just don't feel like what you're doing is that special. You're a barber and this and that. I go, yeah, well, you're eating fucking soups. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, who the what, fuck are what you? Are, what are you doing that's that special? Right. And I go, in reality, you're a little fucking punk. Like, mm. and I go, what? And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, no, I did. Hey, like, hey, I, I, hey I wait. Two pencils. The scissors, <laughs> the scissors turned into a fierro and <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I kind of, I kind of like, I kind of got aggressive. And he, I see his face get spooked, and I go, "Bro, I'm not, I'm not gonna do nothing to you, but you just got scared over something little I said. Right, right. Don't be a smartass if you're gonna get scared that quick. There's no need for it. Nobody appreciated it in here. I'm gonna, I go, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Your peers didn't appreciate it. They're looking, getting annoyed by you. Mm -hmm. Your counselors were getting annoyed by you. I was getting annoyed by you. I go, bro, like we all make mistakes, but yeah. just." Yeah. You don't know, think about it and don't continue to be that way. And I guarantee you, you'll get along with a lot more people. I got a, I got a little riddle and a saying for kids like that. I'll boop bop your snot box and <laughs> meat mop your fart box. <laughs> you fuck with me, that's what happens. What the Straight wow. up. Wow. <laughs> Straight up and down like 6 o'clock, homie. <laughs> Straight up and down. See, because you guys have been in prison, right? So that's why I love why the fact... Why keep saying that, homie? Well, because I love the fact that... No, I keep saying that, homie. I love the Pass fact the that scissors. Pass the scissors. <laughs> no, I, I don't think she's better I than us or what. I love the fact that Momo's here because she was a she CEO. She will protect you. No, she was a CEO. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. She'll crack I you over the head. The laundry, okay? It wasn't a CEO. Yeah, no, <laughs> damn. Hey, but no, she worked a CEO. So she, you were in prison. Yeah, she worked in prison. Damn, bro. I, used, I was the one telling you to squat and cough. <laughs> <laughs> she, we could do that right now. <laughs> 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 Those days are behind me. Hey, I mean, fuck. But those days are behind crazy. me too, right here. <laughs> You're behind I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know she was a CO. She was yeah. CO. Because she was saying, like, talking about prison, she was saying how the beds were uncomfortable, and I was like, <laughs> she was locked up. <laughs> oh, nah, she was getting piped down by inmates on me. Hey, don't be slandering my fucking name. <laughs> Hey, the, the the homie was with her. Come on now. Give hey. some motherfucking credit. Oh. That's why the homies were making a wall. <laughs> and she was in the cell. <laughs> These bats are uncomfortable. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm, 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 don't fuck me up. Oh my God. <laughs> no, because at the end of the day, she, she, got, a, with a boot. she had a different perspective on... Uh, on inmates and stuff, you know, on 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 the stories that I mean, we I've heard you say stories, I've heard you guys you say stories as well. But she's her perspective is uh, a, a, the, the CEO, side, you know what I mean? And uh, so, is Fabian and Lorenzo your type <laughs> <laughs> in jail? So full disclosure. <laughs> Full disclosure, I never fucked with inmates. Honestly, I got into it because I was a joke. It was a joke. Nah, yeah, no, it was a fucking seriously. joke. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, homie. Not while I was on the clock. <laughs> Not on the clock or cock? <laughs> wow. You're breaking up. Can't hear you. You're breaking up. <laughs> That's what she would hey. tell her homeboys. You're breaking up. Can't hear you. You're like, go on, hey. keep going. <laughs> Fuck back up. See what happens. See what happens. Hey, with that being said, man, we're going to take a quick break. <laughs> what's up? What's up? My name's Frankie, uh, Los Angeles Deftone. I'm a local photographer. I just want to tell you guys about a show that I'm doing called To Live and Die in LA. I've done it three times. This is the fourth time. 
Uh, so, so stay tuned. It's on July 10th in South Central, Chuco's Youth Center. It's gonna be fucking crazy. I'm, I'm throwing everything that I got into this shit. E-Man's gonna be uh, hosting it from JR and the crew. And it, it's gonna be crazy. I got Esteban Oriol on board, Merrick Morton on board, LA Reflections on board. There, there's a lot of people to name. And uh, it, it, it's gonna be a... Uh, gonna be the event of the summer 100% for sure I'm adjusting my eyes <laughs> hey what's up what's up we are back in the house with uh, Fabian and Lorenzo the Barber. Woo! I had no idea what the fuck I was walking into. <laughs> I was standing behind the door and I was like, I heard you guys say something about, oh, somebody that just came out of prison and, and got this little ass job and the family's like so proud of them. Like, oh, good job, good job, me, oh, you, you're a landscaper or yeah. you fucking work at Target or whatever, right? Meanwhile, you got a CEO daughter that's doing shit and they're like, ah, you're all right, you're okay. Right. So like, how does that make you feel? Like coming out of prison and like, the struggle, right? The struggle, because, I mean, it's hard to get a job, right? Coming out? The struggle is real. Hard to get a job, right? <laughs> he, he, look, he, yeah, it's it's not fucking hard. It, people make it hard. Mm. If you go okay. in there and they go for it and you're like, what's up? And then, yeah, they're not going to hire you. Act right. It's all, it's all in how you perceive it to be. If you want it, there's plenty of programs that you could get into coming out of prison. If you want it. If you don't want it, if you say, no want it, then you're not going to get it. Right, right. But if you say, I want it, like that, look, I want it. <laughs> like that. If you're like and that, you then you're you going to get it. <laughs> you're going to be like, at the end of the night, like, you know, you'll get it. <laughs> but if you don't want it, you don't want it. You got to want it. You got to earn it. You got to go and get it. Because yeah. obviously, like we said, I worked in a prison, right? And I would see these inmates come. I want to get transferred there. They would come back, right? They would come back and they'd be like, I can't, I can't do it out there, miss. Like, I just couldn't do it. No, like, it's, e it's easy as fuck to quit. That's what it is. Okay. And, yeah. and you know, yeah, I've been yeah. there. I've been there to where, like, you're out and I'm only out, like, 30 days. And I'm like, fuck, this sucks out here. There's there's so much to do out here that that is against me. And I don't know where to start. And I don't. And you just start making excuses. And then you do something stupid. You go back. You're like, hey, homie, what's yeah. up? Okay? <laughs> and that's the easy life, right? Yeah. It's easy in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No responsibility. It's not easy. By far, it's not easy. You know, out here, out here, there's there's just too many things you have to do. It's, you have it's to just the reality. You have to, yeah, it's you, the life out here that yeah. you have to, you have responsibility. You got bills. And you got, you got things to do. You have um, right. payments. And you got you you know if you really want to live like that and mm -hmm. and if you think you could do both at the same time like be use hard drugs, I mean drinking smoking weed now if you balance that that's fine. But someone like me, I can't do none of that mm -hmm. right, right. because I know my triggers and I know how far I go. It's good. Let's fucking take right. a smoke, one little hit. I'll be like, put that give me your money. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> I'm like, that's it, that's it, that's it. What? That's it. I know me. I know me. I take yeah, a swig. Yeah, yeah. I'm like fucking out there looking yeah. for the first person. I. You know, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm going back to the hard person. drugs. I know me. Right. So if you know yourself, you know your limits, stick to what you know. You, and be you have that, that like addictive personality? You know? Yeah, oh yeah, I'm addicted. I've fucking seen I'm a dick. those gummy Tick. bears, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you He's go. all about the sugar now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see that? No, but Man, no, no, sugar in tits. reality, in reality. Sugar that, tits. That, <laughs> <laughs> put these right here, it's over. <laughs> hey, <laughs> if, you put these, if you put these right there, I'm done. I'm going back to Pelican Bay. <laughs> No, I'm the devil. You definitely want to stay away from me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, in reality, though, that's part of like a, just eating candy or something like that. Yeah. It could you trigger just, you, right? Yeah, you just keep going. You keep going, like whatever it is. There's some yeah. people that they have sex and they just. You see how I'm fucking these gummy bears up? Yeah, but that's, that's how I that's fuck sex up. Yeah, they were for everybody, bro. They were for everybody, and you just took over the whole gummy Mine. bears. But, but I do have a question for you guys. So did you guys do like one wait, stretch, Wait, wait, this was stretch. the fucking Jay on the Crew budget right here? <laughs> this is yeah. are, you, are you fucking serious right it's now? It's not in my contract, homie. <laughs> hey, bro. Now, Dude. now, if I was a little famous like you, I'd get Fiji, but I got a like, fucking... Too San, much of a distraction here. Sam no. purified. Dog. The fucking... The, hey. The it's fucking elementary school... It's not, even, it's not even famous, bro. I, like, I came first, so I was here before you, so I got this. <laughs> if I would have been last, I would have got that. She don't even got a water. She barely got here. <laughs> I got tap water in here. 
We actually no, poured those in here. But real talk, guys, real talk. <laughs> like, seriously, because I think this is important, you know, because they say, like, you know, convicts or, or gang members, like, they go back and forth, right? They do two years, five years, ten right. years. That's the recidivism. Back and forth, right. And they become institutionalized. So I'm asking you, you fellas, like, where were you at in all that? <sighs> And what changed you? Like, that's what I really want to know. When was that? When did you wake up and be like, fuck, I'm done with this shit? When I, I think for me, it was when I, when I OD'd in San Quentin. Wow. Uh, and it wasn't on purpose. I'm not trying to go yeah. out like that. But it was just, I want to get high, you know? And I, mm. it, was, it was there. And I mm. got too much. And, I, and I, I went out. And it was in uh, February 10th, uh, 2018, in San Quentin Reception. I was in Donner, up in the fourth tier, cell uh, 16, and I went out right by the showers. Bam, knocked. I was wow. done. My Sally went crazy. He was a youngster from, uh, from Richmond, and he didn't know what to do. And he was like, hey, what should I do? And I was like, just whatever. But I told him, whatever you do, man, don't call the cops. Don't, call, don't go man down. Just leave it. Mm-hmm. If this is what it is, that's... And then I, didn't, I don't know what to feel or what it is. I never OD'd before. I don't know what it, but I, I came so fucking out of it and threw up and sweating and just staying still. And, and I just, I don't remember much, but I know that I didn't want, I wanted it to be whatever happened, happened. And I didn't want to get saved and I didn't, I didn't want to die. But if I was to die, then that's what God wanted right there on the spot. But since I didn't, and that kid was crying. He was 22 years old. He was crying, and he was like, damn, fool, don't scare me like that, homie. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I was like, homie, I didn't mean to do this, dog. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. hey, later, he was like, hey, wow, wow. fool, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm never going to get high again. I, I start selling what less, the leftover that I have, and I didn't get high ever since. And, um, oh, wow. Congratulations, by the oh, way. That day, oh, wow. that day on, I wanted to change, and just, it took a while to me to, like, figure out what I wanted to do, but I said, as soon as I hit the main line, I start getting into programs. I got into the ARC. I got into college. I got into the um, HFM and uh, another one. Uh, I just started, just started being more active. I even took an, uh, uh, inside Pelican Bay, they have this acting class. And the, the lady was like, was um, so she was teaching this kind of acting. It's called Groundlings. And she don't know that, but before I studied Meisner. And Meisner is like acting like uh, acting truthfully on uh, and behaving truthfully moment to unanticipated moment, like under imaginary circumstances, or you could use real circumstances. So I kind of had my own background and, and way of doing it. So I kept hitting everybody was just sitting there listening to her and thinking like, we don't want to do this shit, you know? Fuck, acting like a a, mo- a gorilla or acting like a, an animal. Pick yeah. an animal and she would act it out. And I was like, what's I don't see the reason for this, but I have my own. So I started like giving her, and she's like, "Hey, we." After talking, she goes, "Where did you learn? Where did? What do you? How do? How do you think we should do this then? Or what do you think?" And I go, "Well, I studied Meisner," and she goes, "She didn't even know what Meisner was." Oh, wow. And it's Crazy. Sanford Meisner is like an old technique. Uh, Sandy Meisner was one of the great actors, like with Stella Adler, Stanislavski, um, um, a lot of uh, Lee, Lee Strasberg. They all taught acting to America from. Back in the European, like back from Europe, they brought it from Russia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when I hit her with that, and I said, I studied three years. And she goes, do you want to facilitate a class here? And I go, yeah, do I get time off for this? She goes, (laughs) she said, no. (laughs) She said, no, so I said, no. (laughs) I'm like, no, I'm not going to do this for free. I'm not going to be teaching no crazy ass inmates because it's hard. Like, because the way I, the way I am, okay, yeah, I could probably teach them something, but do I have the patience? Yeah, do yeah. I have that understanding when they get stupid with me? You do, but I don't, lady. You know, I told her, like, I go, I don't have that, that, that you know, that zen about me. If someone trips on me, I'm a trip. Yeah. So, you know, but I did want to, I did want to sober up and I did want to start educating myself. So I did go to college. I took some classes and knocked off my time. And I am the again plus COVID. Um, I'm supposed to come home in 2026, in July. So... Wow, that's awesome. Damn. Seriously, that's right? Oh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Me, me, I think... Uh, and I didn't lock it up. <laughs> <laughs> me, uh, when I came home, my kids, when they would go visit me, my mom would bring them, or, or at the time my ex or whatever would bring, you know, whoever. 
they they were all over me. They loved me. And I think uh, one of the the parts where I really knew I had to change is when I seen my kids when I got out. And the first time they see me, they, they um, like, oh. And they were like, what the fuck? And they backed up. And they backed up, and they, they were scared, like. Because they didn't know you as a person. Fuck, yeah, right? what the yeah. fuck is he doing here? He's supposed to be, you know, on <laughs> oh, a car yeah. trip. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He's, he and should be in college, like, right? Yeah. That's what they say. Or that, <laughs> that and when he's I working. was working. Yeah, that and one day I, I was driving and I looked over. I was at a light and I seen this this older dude. He was probably like 50 and he's on a beach cruiser and he's all Bonnaroo now. Brand new shirt, brand new shorts. You know what I mean? And he's all Bonnaroo and. And he's a junkie. You could tell he's a Takato and he has a bandana over his shoulder. He's yeah. And he's a homie. And, and I was like, as clean as he looks right now, I don't want to be that guy on a bicycle at 50 years old, fucking right. with brand right. new fucking gear on. Mm-hmm. And at, actually, that day I went home and I started downsizing my clothes. I used to wear real baggy pants, baggy shirts, and I started downsizing. And I started. Now you wear skinny jeans. <laughs> I don't know about skinny jeans, but relaxed jeans. Hey, hey, hey! You be quiet. Everything's skinny on you, girl. <laughs> you shut your mouth. Yeah, yeah I, I honestly, yeah. I honestly, just from that day on, thought I don't want to go back. And I've been out almost. I've been out probably like 17 years, oh, shit. 18 oh, years, that's right. something like that. Right. I went, I went for an overnighter for a DUI. Yeah, that but don't, that don't count. We dropped them yeah, off yeah. and we picked them right back up. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. I was like, I was happy because we were, we were prepared I, I, to be, you know, taking care of the shop. Oh, you were serious? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm dead serious. Oh shit. Yeah, we, were, we were prepared to start, you know. Well, you dropped them off. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> we, then, turn turned yourself in. Yeah, yeah, I turned myself in. Did you pack your ass? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. He left hey. that behind you. Hey. Hey. hey, look. Uh, no. Hey, chip up. <laughs> I, I I turned myself in real quick. I Who turned me? myself in for 21 days. I packed my ass. Turned into three years. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Yeah. You know, I and <laughs> <laughs> no packing I, asses. It was crazy because they gave me they gave me four months. Okay. And uh, when when the judge told me like, well, what do you want to do this and that? I go, ah, take the time. And there's some little white lady, and she was like, uh, Your Honor, can I talk to him? And I was like, She's gonna talk, talk me out of it. Mm-hmm. She pulled me aside, and she's like, You're prepared to do four months? I go, Yeah. She goes, That's the smartest thing you can do. You're not gonna get probation, this and that, and this and that. You're gonna bypass all that. You just gotta do DMV, and you're only gonna do a couple of days. LA counties, and I can keep you. Right, right. And I was like, I'm in it. I'm in it. Yeah. And yeah. I Sign spent, me up. Yeah, I, and you know what? And I was like, man, maybe, you know, the old, the old prison in me was like, maybe I need to, you know, put some, something away and give to the homies. And Maybe I need to re, re, reimburse my prison wallet. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe I need to bring it out of retirement. Yeah. The old but prison wallet. I thought to myself, Fuck that. What if I'm not there long enough to do nothing and I do it for nothing? Then you bring it back home. <laughs> <laughs> and, and sure enough, I was in the whole. And a fucking case. CO like this will catch you and make you cough and squat. <laughs> and then it falls out. And I'm I'll, like this. <laughs> I was in the holding tanks. Caca y todo. Hey, no, she gets it and goes no, like that. It's in the back pocket. It's in hey. the pocket. I'm like, hey, she ass. puts it in her mouth. Like, Swallowed it. These are horrible. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, caca breath right there. <laughs> Don't act like you never had it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, don't, yeah. don't Do discuss. Go? Don't discuss our business, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I was, I was in the holding tank like 20 hours, and I slept like four hours. When they finally got me in the cell, and they woke me up to leave again. And I was like, fuck, I'm so glad I didn't. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. did it overnight. Sure. Yeah. It was, yeah, but the processing took longer than anything. You know what I mean? But those were, those were, those were the times when I told myself I'm done. I, yeah. I, I washed my hands of it. And the good thing is, like all the years I did, I held my mug. I didn't, I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't get in trouble. I, I stayed away from a lot of nonsense. Right, right. You know, I did what I had to do when the time came, and yeah. that was it. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't one to be out there raising my hand or nothing like that, because I, I seen people lose at doing that, and I, I was. I've always tried to think ahead. My my father's always taught me to think ahead. Think ahead and you'll never you never go wrong. The times I did fuck up is when I did not instinct instinct. You know what I mean? You 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 react off of instinct and you 
right, hit right. a wall. But with that, Lorenzo, and, and, and you can answer this first, and then Fabian after, because this whole this whole pot this whole episode is about like is, I, I believe it's about like a road to redemption. You guys are all are doing things to. I mean, you can't get rid of your past, what you've done, but you're doing the, the good things now. So even moving forward. What are some of the things, Lorenzo and even Fabian, what are some of the things that you guys are doing now as goals to continue that road to redemption? I, I, me personally, I don't think I'll ever truly redeem myself. But uh, the things I do do, I, I do because I want to know that, that maybe I can help somebody else. Like maybe I, I, I feel, make myself feel better about my life. And maybe I could show my kids that, that it's not cool to be that guy. Um, but right now, I'm just honestly, after I get done with my shop and everything, I do, I do want to get on the, the whole charity thing and start, start giving out stuff again, doing, doing little things to help people. Um, it, there's a guy on uh, Instagram, Los Angeles Deftone. He right. does a lot for charity. He does raffles to help, pe pay, help pay people's bills. And I was helping him with that. And I kind of feel bad because I bailed out on him by bailing on Instagram. And it, it bugged me because, you know, I, I was I was starting to promote it. And then I, you know, I just, I had to back out of Instagram and just give myself a break. Mm -hmm. But he does he does a lot of stuff like that. And hopefully I can get together with him and get some stuff going. That's it. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> what, homie? <laughs> What, I look funny to you? Yeah, you. I look funny to you? What's so funny about me? Hey, that man, sir. Sir, calm down, sir. Sir, calm, calm down. down. What's so funny about me? You're supposed to be on this road to redemption, sir. Okay? What the fuck positive. is so funny? What the fuck is funny about me? Now, I'll tell you the truth. Is that the Meisner theory or whatever you're talking about? Hey, CO. Hey, CO. Go get me some toilet paper. I need more toilet paper, CO. I'm so... Clean up this mess. Cut. Visiting to cut. Clean up this mess you're making me make. <laughs> hey, so I'm, um, as I was saying, before those got in the I mean, before she got in the way, um, I like, I want to give back by doing an OnlyFans page. <laughs> I think I want to give back by doing that. Showing your feet. <laughs> if that's what you call feet, <laughs> foot loose. Everybody get foot loose. Yeah, I mean, no, really. I think what he's trying to say is he's going to brush up on his comedy skills and oh, come yeah. at us with like a, a full comedy show, huh? That's what you're about to do. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> is that what you want to call it? Huh? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Don't Commercial like break. Look at them. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys. Well, check this out, man. Uh, any last words you guys want to say because our producers over there are telling us we're done, but... Any last words, man? We, we were grateful that you guys came back on. I mean, uh, it, it's amazing to hear you guys' story, where you guys are going and stuff, where you guys are at. So any last words to the people out there? Follow your heart. Follow your dreams. Stay clean. Stay positive. Stay, stay, stay focused, man. And that's it. That's all you got to do. No matter, no matter where you come from, no matter where you've been, don't let that define you. All right. Make new moves. Hey, Fabian, on, on that note, um, do you are, are you doing the stuff for the youth? Is that like pop-ups that we can pop promote on here? You like, can. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah sure. Right, cool. I'll let you know. I'll let you know, know. Yeah, let let you know ahead of time. put it out there yeah. for, for sure. the people, bro. You know what I'm saying? For sure. 100%. Thank you. No doubt. No doubt. Um, be happy. Be happy. Do whatever it takes to make yourself happy, but be really, truly happy. Uh, if you're on drugs, you're not happy. You're just in the cloud. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, be happy and don't worry about nothing. Hell yeah. If you're happy, that's all that matters. Don't let no one else make choices for yourself, man. Don't let right. no one else dictate what you really want to do in life. Yep. That's right. And you know what, guys? On that note, we wanted to say thank you guys for tuning in. Yeah. We love these guys. Like, subscribe. Subscribe and share. share. That's YouTube. Guys, that's YouTube, our favorite man. word. These guys yeah. love JR and the crew. Yeah. Yeah. I thank my boys for being here today. That's right. We'll see you next week. Hey everyone, thank you for watching our episode tonight. But look, don't just watch it, get connected. That's right, on IG, YouTube, Facebook. Don't forget to like and share, man. We appreciate you guys. This is Z-Man from JR and the Crew. Tune in. <laughs>